Okay, and we're rolling. Hello there, everybody. This is a bit of a surprise to me too, because I'm actually on vacation, and uh, I wasn't planning on doing any videos or uploading anything until mid-January, but then this arrived. My new baby. G'day, how are you everyone? Uh, Merry post-Christmas and Happy New Year about to be. Uh, I acknowledge the traditional custodians of the lands I'm on in Perth, the Wajit people. Welcome to Bootlosophy in this uh, between Christmas and New Year period and uh, welcome to a surprise video which I wasn't expecting to make. But this arrived and I had to talk about it. So this is the Scout Backpack from Dale's Leatherworks. Now, Dale Basista is a friend of mine. Uh, he's the owner of uh, Dale's Leatherworks. He used to have his account on YouTube and Instagram as Aerosurfer LV, but changed this year to Dale's Leatherworks because of his passion for making leather goods. Now, you'll all know Dale, I'm sure, from his uh, YouTube channel, which reviews boots, amongst other things. And then, since then, he's also uh, started to make kilties initially and then leather aprons and uh, uh, other leather goods like cuffs and uh, yeah, insoles and he's broadened out into backpacks. So this is his uh, new design for this backpack and let me take you through the outside of it first before we delve inside. So uh, the interesting thing is this is actually a mini backpack onto a big backpack. So you have this exterior um, uh, pouch, which is sewn onto the backpack itself, but designed in exactly the same way. The uh, design of this particular model is interesting because uh, this is all one piece of leather. It's cut in a T shape so that the wings of the T sort of fold over to make uh, the side panels. And then the, uh, the, the leg of the T is wrapped around up the back and sewn onto the flap. Externally, this is uh, Seidel's double shot. I think it's burgundy because you can see the uh, maroon colors coming out. It's a, um, it's a robust chrome XL. It is a pull-up leather, so you can see, um, and in this light in the shade, I can't go outside because the sun is actually incredibly hot, so I can't leave the shade. But hopefully in this light in the shade, you can see that there is a definite pull-up effect to this leather, and really beautiful. It smells gorgeous, by the way. Um, it's also got a reasonably thick leather. I, I think it's at least two millimeters thick. I should get my little thing out to measure it, but it's, I think it's two to two and a half millimeters thick, if not thicker. But because it's oil, uh, stuff full of oils and waxes, it's extremely supple, like just super soft. And yet, the way Dale's designed it, as it keeps its structure, it stands on its own, it's not leaning on anything, and absolutely stands on its own. It's handmade, hand sewn. Uh, I can see the sort of saddle stitching here, which is two needles going through the same hole, pulled tight and going through the, ne through the other one. Uh, extremely robust uh, thread, uh, double stitching where it's required for strength, and incredible design in the thought that goes through it, because things like the straps are riveted, uh, solid brass rivets, but they go through leather loops that are sewn. Uh, there's a leather patch that uh, reinforces that area. Um, all the hardware is solid brass, including the buckles, and everything is reinforced with rivets. Totally sturdy construction. Uh, the shoulder straps are double thickness, so you can see that it's really super thick. And I think in this case, the leather is even thicker than, than what you get on the body of the, uh, the backpack. Um, very clever design in terms of how it's attached, so it swivels. Um, you know, it's a, it's a superb piece. But let's open this up and see so you can see inside, so come on over. As I said, the hardware um, is solid brass, and the suppleness of the leather is apparent in all the straps and all the flaps. It's really quite intensely colorful, this uh, 
uh, double shot ox blood. Um, the straps go right the way through, they're reinforced, and on the inside, I spoke about the T-shape of the leather which, which uh, forms the entire front of the backpack. You can see the uh, washer rivets going all the way through, and it's extremely roomy. You can sort of pack a lot of stuff in there. Uh, and this external mini backpack on top of the backpack is built in exactly the same way. Again, you, you can put sort of things that you want to reach quickly in there. So all in all, it's really well put together. Uh, you should go and take a look on Dale's website, dalesleatherworks.com, which also makes these uh, sort of cuffs um, in all sorts of different leathers that you can get. And um, if you don't want this in a uh, single piece color, if you can talk to Dale, he can make them for you in different colors. So perhaps this might be a different color to that or a different leather to that. Um, have a talk to, to Dale and sort of see what he can do for you. Absolutely terrific. Before I, want, I finish, I'd like to talk to you about uh, one of the questions I ask boot makers, which is, what is your why? Why did you start uh, wanting to make boots? Uh, what's your passion in it? And I want to talk management consulting a little bit. This is about the difference between advertising and marketing. Look, advertising is tactical and it's about selling. It creates a message for you to buy. Marketing, on the other hand, is about painting a picture that you want to step into. It's strategic and that's why it uses the why of the people making these goods. You could do the advertising part, right? You could say, uh, this is made of Seidel leather, very durable, very supple. Uh, the hardware is all brass, again, extremely durable. Uh, it's roomy and therefore you can put a lot of things in it. Want to buy? On the other hand, you could look at the marketing aspects of a product. And this is why I'm interested. This was designed and produced by a man called Dale Basista from Dale's Leatherworks. Now, Dale is an interesting man. Apart from a varied career, he found an interest in boots and started a YouTube channel. And through that, he found a passion in leather and decided to create leather goods. So he went into YouTube, his media, to learn about leather making. He improved because he had the passion to improve. And he designed a backpack like this to suit people with a terrific set of ideas behind it, including things like double folding this uh, loop so that it didn't hurt your hands to carry. This is why Dale's Leatherworks produces things of beauty that are handmade. Want to buy? So that's the difference. Go check out dalesleatherworks.com and you see lots of these other things. But before you do that, subscribe, click on like, and I'll see you next year.